November is National Prematurity Awareness Month, where the focus is on babies that are born before a full-term pregnancy. That's about one in ten births. So how often does it really happen, and are there any warning signs? Bridget Allison is standing by now to ask a doctor. Ask a Doctor is sponsored by Conviva Primary Care for Seniors. Today we decided to talk to a doctor from Winnie Palmer Hospital for children, for women and babies, and we're, you know, learning that they've saved babies born as prematurely as 22 weeks, and we've even heard that they've helped save babies from Southwest Florida after Hurricane Ian. So joining us now, Dr. Catherine Wynn, a neonatologist at Winnie Palmer. I know you're very busy. <laughs> thank you for coming. Of course, thank you for having me today. It's a really important topic for us, obviously. In and the DQ. It's a it's an awareness month, but really this is something that's so so common. One in ten. <laughs> All day, every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, one in ten babies um, throughout the United States. That's not quite half a million babies a year, but um, quite a few. Yes, and 22 weeks, It's yes, that's we, extremely um, young. It's very young. It's very small. Um, we actually have a task force at Winnie Palmer that I'm a part of that um, dedicates spending extra time with the babies born between 22 and 24 weeks gestation. Um, they're very, very fragile and need a lot of hands-on management and care, and so we have um, dedicated a team to providing them with some consistency as well. But um, we've had a lot of success recently, a lot of improvement in outcomes, and we're working closely with some other centers who also have a lot of success. Yes. And, and premature birth is actually uh, much farther along. What, what's yeah. the cutoff? So um, technically any baby born before 37 weeks gestation is classified mm. as premature. Now not every baby born less than 37 weeks has to go to the NICU. Um, in, in our institution, any baby born below 35 weeks does mm -hmm. need a NICU evaluation. But between 35 and 37 weeks, many of those babies still require additional care and monitoring. And some of them end up in the NICU anyway because they need help breathing or eating or managing their blood sugars. Let's talk about some of the causes for premature birth. I know uh, one of my good friends, she had twins at Winnie, mm -hmm. but they came early, mm -hmm. so they were in the NICU. Yes. Talk about some of the causes of that course. that lead up to a premature birth. So there's a lot of different factors that play into it. So um, one um, more common cause is multiple gestation pregnancies. Not every um, twin or triplet um, pregnancy is going to be delivered early, but many of them will be. Um, other um, complicated pregnancies um, are at higher risk, but unfortunately we um, don't have a great answer for a lot of preterm labors. Um, some moms just go into labor early, sometimes even earlier than 22 weeks, unfortunately. There are things that the OBs can do to help try and slow down that labor to protect mom and baby. Other times, um, uh, babies need to be delivered early because of health risks for mom. Pregnancy is really complicated and it's really, um, we sometimes forget that pregnancy can be very dangerous. And so moms who develop high blood pressure because of a pregnancy can develop many severe complications that can be life-threatening. And so sometimes we have to deliver babies early for that. Um, during COVID, um, when moms got really sick um, with mm. pneumonia or respiratory failure, some of those babies had to come early. Um, and unfortunately, some Sometimes women, like I said, just go into preterm labor um, without a clear other cause. And one thing that I remember, she was so thankful that Winnie Palmer Hospital was there, that resource of the NICU mm -hmm. being there for her yes. preemies. What's so important about selecting, you know, the right facility for mm -hmm. your journey with, you know, bringing the baby home? Of course. So um, I think having, uh, especially if you have a high-risk pregnancy or, or you're more likely to deliver um, before 37 weeks, delivering somewhere that has access to some of this specialized care is really important. Um, sometimes it's hard to predict what complications a premature baby is going to have and what level of care they're going to need. Um, so even, as I said, babies born at 35 or 36 weeks sometimes can require Require a higher level of breathing support and things like that. So having um, a, a qualified and dedicated team at the ready for especially high-risk pregnancies is really important. I know it was very reassuring to me when I had my son at 32 weeks mm -hmm. um, to have our NICU team ready and waiting for him um, to help support him and keep him safe. And we really appreciate everything you do there. And you're working today, so I am. <laughs> you've got to get back there and help out with bringing the babies mm -hmm. into the world. Yep, keeping them safe. And we just appreciate you stopping by to help build more awareness around premature birth and always, you know, expanding the resources we have here as a treasure for Central Florida for sure. Thank you, Dr. Wynn. Thank you.